What is going on YouTube? My name is Lucas and today you had to know that this one was coming. You had to know that this one was coming. There is no question I was not going to put a video out on the day of the conference call. I am beyond excited. If you guys cannot tell, I am beyond excited. If you cannot tell, this video is basically going to be for myself but also to assist with you guys. I really want to see if everything that I'm predicting that you guys are predicting is actually going to come through and see really if today they make those announcements. So ideally I'm going to have this video to go back and be able to watch and see if everything that we all predicted was a true statement. So I, I'm not going to hold you guys back anymore. If you're interested in TSNP Humble, I suggest you stay tuned right after this. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's conference call day. Smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, comment down below. Let's go. Time to get in the video. You guys are 100% aware of the excitement that I have for this stock, for this company, for this CEO. Brian Foote is absolutely amazing. You guys know that I've done a ton of due diligence, just like many of the people out there that are constantly updating on Twitter, that are constantly updating on stock tweets, that are really doing their due diligence on this company and rightfully so I've done three videos now on this company and I'm just beyond excited and every single one of those videos I get more and more excited and really start diving more into each and every subject that has popped up on this company some of the biggest things that I think are gonna happen obviously could be very big and they could be very small and it, it ranges to different people obviously I feel that a ticker symbol change is going to be a positive catalyst some people don't view it as a positive catalyst but these are the things that i really want to kind of provide in this video and see if they do come true as the conference call comes out in the afternoon so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just dive in start pouring the information on that way we can go back and look and see how accurate this video actually was and i'm gonna try to be as accurate as i possibly can hopefully they really provide some more information and maybe i just completely missed something but we're gonna go and start diving in every single piece of this information I can think of. So the very first thing that I wanted to talk about is Block 30 Labs. You know, obviously Brian Foote was the CEO of Block 30 Labs. And really there was just a lot of information, a lot of things that they were working on at Block 30 Labs. You know, since that point, they have kind of closed up shop and they referred us to go check out Humble. And so as you guys can see, the tweet is right there and it kind of notified us that you know hey go check out humble my thoughts on that and many of you guys have the same thoughts is that block 30 labs is being incorporated and really pushed into humble and humble pay and the humble finance section that is going to be you know talked about and hopefully discussed as you guys can see right here that was actually unveiled momentarily it was very very brief it didn't last very long and it was pulled down from the website so i think there has been a lot of I guess sneak peeks and hints at what is supposed to come and then they pull it back just to kind of get us excited and anticipated. Now the next piece that I'm beyond excited about is to actually talk about the humble finance section. And so you guys are aware many people have put videos out on it is the fact that they posted a billboard down in Mexico. As you guys can see right here. Now that billboard is is for everyone to see that is driving through that area and obviously it is a hint it is foretelling to tell us that the mobile app is going live that's my thoughts that's many of your guys's thoughts so let's see if that truly is going to come true in this conference call now the next piece that i think is absolutely absolutely amazing was that for a brief moment period of time on an instagram account there was a picture taken of a cell phone with humble loading and it looks like it appears it is in Mexico. So what that is telling, and that is also a sneak peek, and maybe really kind of just revealing, is the fact that the app is actually live. And so that was, you know, had a lot of people in shock and awe. The excitement was going through the roof. I can't tell you how many tweets I saw that were just, you know, in celebration, how many gifts that I saw that were just in celebration, because this was very telling information. 
that was since then taken down. I think the account was actually deleted. Um, and so is it true that it's actually live? Was that an intention to put that out there to get everyone excited that is invested in this company? I don't know, but that was definitely a very telling piece if that truly is a real deal. Um, and so that was beyond excited. The next thing that we saw was actual two separate phones divided in a picture and it showed you know obviously i'm gonna put that up right here as i'm talking about it so as you guys can see it looks like it would be the app and what you're seeing is actually visa reward card and it has like a debit number on there and that is actually a feature on there it looks like you know you have your cards input into the app and then it shows you a humble balance and then as you continue down it shows mastercard and then as you continue down it shows bank of america and on the next one it shows kind of some similar things it shows a person you know an individual it shows where they're located and then it shows you know an at assuming that that is going to be the username it shows bank of america again it shows chase bank and then it shows usd stablecoin and so there's a lot of information we can pull from this and a lot of you know speculation that we can pull from this you know as we kind of go go through this are there going to be you know major major partnerships with the likes of a visa you know is there going to be major partnerships with an american express is this telling us that bank of america is going to be joining up with it what about chase and chase you know chase bank and everything that is involved with that are these kind of unveiling and telling you know pictures saying hey these are going to be partnerships who knows but one of the biggest things that i think we're seeing here is the fact that they incorporated usd uh, c stablecoin um that is kind of like holy smokes which could also lead us back to obviously block 30 labs so there really is a lot of information that we're seeing here that really is kind of telling and showing us a lot of things you know obviously this is through an app so it have to be live are they going to be discussing all this because these pictures clearly came from somewhere so i'm i'm excited about that and then the final piece that i really wanted to hit on and before i provide you guys this chart is obviously the fact that humble's twitter account um, posted the fact that humble is actually going to be having an av rolling advertisement on a massive billboard in new york now i got super pumped and was just like kind of in shock and awe when i saw the nasdaq you know logo right below it but then they put out a disclaimer and a legal claim that basically informed us that um well i'll kind of read it to you so it says see you tomorrow new york and that that right there just immediately when you see that you're like oh my goodness but then they put out a legal disclaimer saying that the humble financial wall street to all street billboard will be available from approximately 10 a.m to 10 p.m eastern time on 1 22 uh 21 so january 22nd um in 2021 in times square but then then the next tweet that they put out basically stated this is a legal disclaimer please note that the nasdaq banner underneath the humble financial billboard is purely coincidental and does not imply any relationship or connection between humble and the nasdaq and then i immediately started thinking to myself well not yet <laughs> but i think you know obviously that is a coincidence um and i think that is very cool that they are even getting a billboard in one of the largest you know advertising locations in the entire united states of america and that is times square so that is a big, big thing right there. And that could also be very telling as well. Is that also telling us that the app is going to go live within the United States? I mean, is the app, you know, going to be just live in the key places that they've been focusing on? What all is this information providing us? So as we can, can come back to this video after the conference call, I would like to see how much of this information was very kind of revealing and they kind of hinted at it before it truly happened and then obviously you got to think there are other partnerships that they've been talking about you know is is digibyte going to be one that we see become a partner is western union going to be something that they talk about as a potential partner you know there's just a lot of things that i've heard and i know a lot of you guys have heard that i would be very interested to see really what comes to fruition what comes true and you know that's why i really wanted to create this video is just to really kind of go through some of these sneak peeks some of these reveals that we've gotten and see how much of that is actually true the biggest one and, and i did provide a lot of information was the video with humble and on block 30 labs 
Um, that's one that I really want to see how much of that information is true. So I'm excited. I know a lot of you guys are truly excited and I see the tweets. I, I see them and I see them on stock tweets. This is a company that is backed by some very heavy, you know, believers in this company, rightfully so. And um, I'm excited. And now we have come to my favorite part of any video and that is chart breaking down time. So let's swing on over here and could this potentially be the last time we see this ticker symbol for a little bit. TSNP, could we be changing to HMBL and finding out that information today? I'm excited to see. So let's dive into this and see how we did in the one day chart. So today it opened at 32 cents. It got as high as 32.9. Um, it's low was 29 and then it's volume was 68.26 million. I mean, a little bit down from where we've been at for our average volume, but still a tremendous amount of volume. Market cap is 1.208 billion. And that's amazing to see in itself. You know, any penny stock that is truly over a billion dollars is phenomenal. 52 week high is 36 cents, and its 52 week low is unfortunately zero. Hopefully, we never get back there. Average volume 231.3 million. Amazing, amazing to see. So today, it did close at 31 cents, which was up 5.12%. And as you can see in the one day, it roared out the gate. And then in all honesty, it just basically stayed in a very kind of consolidated move. And it really just was peaking kind of up and down, up and down between really the high 30 cent mark and the 31 cent mark. Um, it really didn't do too much more than that after, you know, about the first hour, 10 hour and a half of the trading day. And then we stayed pretty consistent. And, you know, for a lot of them, you know, a lot of the people say you buy the hype and you sell the news. I don't feel like that actually happened. It, it'll be interesting to see how this market really kind of responds since today the market is opening. Um, and so we're going to see how Friday is actually, you know, today is actually handled uh, when it comes to the stock itself. Is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? Are people going to be buying out of excitement? Um, is this is this the last time you can jump on this stock before the, the stock price shoots to what I've seen some people have price targets of 50 cents, 60 cents, even a dollar. And then some people are saying that by the end of this year, you know, there's going to be a price target of three dollars. I've seen a massive you know range of guesses for price target. So, you know, it's just going to be exciting to see how this stock comes from all this news that is supposed to be provided in this conference call. I look forward to it. I know many of you guys are, and I've said that enough, but it just truly is a pure excitement, and I'm I'm beyond happy to be involved with this stock, and, and I know a lot of you guys are as well. So I really just wanted to provide another video, like I said, to keep track of exactly what my guesses were, what your guys' guesses were, and truthfully, what ends up happening. I appreciate you guys swinging by and checking out this video on TSNP. Hopefully, fingers crossed, HMBL very soon. I do want to remind you guys, I am not a financial advisor, and anything I say in this video is for pure entertainment purposes only. That's exactly what I'm here to do, is entertain. And you guys know how I do it. If you like this video, smash that like button. It helps out tremendously. And if you enjoy the content, because I'm going to keep the content flowing, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, have a good day.